Refresh and Restore with Donna Sherman. Thank you. My name is Abby Melendez. You've probably seen me already. I've been, ar been around here for a while. Um, <laughs> I'm a THICA uh, volunteer. I facilitate support groups. I'm the coordinator for the um, four THICA support groups. And uh, we're so very glad to have you. I'm going to read a little bit about you. Uh, Ms. Sherman is a clinical social worker and thyroid cancer survivor based out of Highland, New York and New York City. In 2016, she created the therapeutic guided restorative recording titled Yoga Nidra, Total Relaxation Practices for Adults and Teens. She is a behavioral health coach and consultant offering skills-based guidance and training that helps clients live and work well. And Ms. Sherman currently hosts a Sparks in Action podcast, which I guess we'll all have to check out. So without further ado, there's Donna. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. Hi, everybody. So those of you that are there live, wonderful if it's comfortable for you and you could put your feet up for the guided uh restorative part of the session, you will be glad you did. So however you can put yourself in the most possible comfortable position, you've probably heard this ad nauseum, but you want your cell phones off. You don't want any buzzing or bleeping in this event whatsoever. So turning them completely off as opposed to just um, on um, vibrate would be good because it'll disturb you and it'll disturb other people. Thank you. And also those of you that are at home, uh, hello and welcome. I'm sorry I can't see you, but please, if you can, make yourself comfortable either reclining or if you can lay down on the floor, that would be optimal because this is a different kind of session. <laughs> this is a session that is very experiential and I'll be guiding you in this process. And at the end of our time, we'll have about 20 minutes at the end for questions and answers, for talking about different tools that you can use to help restore all your innate systems. Those of us that live with the consequences of thyroid cancer, whatever phase we're in, uh, know what it what we really know what dysregulation is. <laughs> dysregulation is a kind of societal phenomenon in that so often we're living in a state of, our bodies are in a state of hypervigilance, our nervous system is dysregulated, our sympathetic nervous system is like on overdrive. And what you're going to be experiencing today is a process that is really not technically guided relaxation. It's paradoxical. There's no pressure to relax. There's no pressure for anything to happen. That said, once we begin, you, all you need to do is follow my voice and the process itself kind of speaks to your nervous system, if you will. And I do a combination, what I'm gonna do here is a combination of some Western techniques. And then a bulk of it comes from the yoga tradition called Yoga Nidra. I am going to spare you all my rambling, not ramblings, but my talking too much about what, how these practices work in the body, the brain and the nervous system. What's more important is you get to have an experience and a beautiful way, I think, to close out a conference where there's been so much fabulous information and you all will integrate it in your own way and your own time. And in a way, this experience together is a good gateway to that because it really quiets our discursive minds that often are going in many different directions. And as I said earlier, it tends to settle the body and the nervous system. So we're going to start. So please make any last minute adjustments. If it's not unwieldy for you live at the conference to lower the lights, if that's something you can do, whoever's there, fabulous. If you can't, 
don't worry about it. If you're at home, if you could just dim the lights so that it, the atmosphere is a little bit softer. You all do not need to worry about time. My job is to keep track of time. And I promise you, we will finish on time. So any worries your mind might come up with, please let them go. And just to reiterate for any of you that may have come on a little late, we will have about 20 minutes after the process of the deep restorative guided yoga nidra. Uh, we will have time for comments, questions. We can talk about other tools that might be useful. And we'll start. If you haven't already, please begin to close your eyes. And as your eyes are closing, literally feel your upper lid and your lower lid meeting. If there is anybody out there who feels anxious closing their eyes and closing your eyes is not for you, that's just fine. You can maybe look down at your hands if you're seated or look at a spot on the ceiling if you're lying down. As I said, you will simply be following my voice. Feel where your body makes contact with the ground beneath you. If you're on a chair, feel your seat on the chair and perhaps even observe and feel the stability of the ground beneath you and the safety of the stable ground beneath you. If you're lying down, feel where your heels make contact with the ground the back of your legs and the ground beneath them. Your seat and the stable surface beneath it. Wrap your awareness to your back. Simply feel without having to move or manipulate your lower back, your middle back, your upper back, feel your right shoulder blade resting against whatever surface, perhaps widening, blossoming out. Feel your left shoulder blade resting against any surface, blooming If your head is really resting on the back of a chair or the ground, feel that point of contact, the back of the head, the ground or chair, the back of your head, the ground or chair, and that point of contact. Observe how there's a movement in your torso. Don't try to correct your breathing. Don't try to manipulate your breathing. Simply feel the movement of breath. Some of you might like to take one hand and place it in the center of the chest, not over the heart per se, but in the center of the chest to rest it there. 
and another hand over the navel center so that the palms of your hand and the movement of the belly and chest make contact. If you're not using your hands and your arms are resting by your side or on your lap, I'm going to be quiet for about 15 seconds so that you could simply feel the natural breath moving through your body. Good. Now simply bring awareness to the tip of your nose, to your right nostril, and to your left nostril. And very simply observe any sensations that might be occurring as this natural, easy, effortless movement of breath is happening. There's no right, there's no wrong. Sometimes the air coming in through the nose feels a little cooler and drier. And sometimes on an exhale, Exhale, it feels a little warmer. Now kind of tune your ears, if you will, and you may notice some very subtle sounds that occur with your natural breath. We're not analyzing them, we're simply observing, allowing. Good. So this breath is always with you. And it's a great ally. Before we continue, my invitation to you now is to invite you to bring into your awareness a deep heartfelt desire. Perhaps it has to do with your health. Perhaps it's a cultivate, a, a, excuse me, a quality in your life that you wish to cultivate. Health, compassion, whatever it is. I'm gonna be quiet to just allow you a moment to just kind of fall into your heart a little bit and see if there is a deep heartfelt desire. Don't push for anything. If something did arise for you, you can phrase it in the present tense. An example would be, I am cultivating courage and wisdom. That's simply an example. Not in the future tense, as if it's already happening. And if you're doing this with us, you can inwardly, nothing out loud, Quietly repeat that heartfelt intention to yourself three times in the present tense. Go ahead.
we're going to move on. Simply know that throughout your day, any day, at any time, you can kind of course correct or align yourself with this if you feel it would be helpful by simply quietly repeating it to yourself. Let's continue. Direct your attention to your right thumb. Again, no need to move parts of the body as I direct you. Simply direct your attention to your right thumb. Your right index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky. Feel the palm of your right hand, the back of your right hand, your right forearm, the outer point of your right elbow, your right upper arm, your right armpit, right shoulder, from the top of your right shoulder all the way down to the tips of your fingers, your right arm and shoulder are simply held in your awareness. And now just direct your awareness to your left hand, your left thumb, second finger, middle finger, fourth finger, tip of your pinky, palm of your left hand, back of your left hand, wrist, forearm, inner crease of your left elbow, outer point of your left elbow, feel your left upper arm, armpit, the top of your left shoulder, and the entirety of your left arm, right down to the tips of your fingers. So now your left arm and your right arm held in somatic awareness, simply feeling them. Nothing to fix, manipulate, or do. And all the while, the breath continues to just move effortlessly. As if your body is breathing you, as if you're not taking a breath, but you are receiving an in-breath and releasing an out-breath. Receiving in-breath, releasing out-breath, receiving in-breath, and releasing out-breath. Safe, stable ground beneath you, awareness of your body. Good. Now move your awareness to your right foot. Whether you're on a chair at home lying down and feel your right big toe. Don't think it, literally just feel it there. Second toe, third toe, fourth toe, your fifth toe, sole of your right foot, ankle, or on the right side, lower leg, or the front of your right knee, and the back of your right knee, right thigh, right hip bone your entire right leg. And now simply direct and shift your awareness over to the left, 
to your left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, the top of your left foot. Feel the bones. Your left ankle. Your lower leg, your shin, your left calf, your left knee, front and back, upper leg. Feel where the back of your left upper leg makes contact with the chair or the ground beneath you. Back of the left leg. Contact with chair or ground. Feel that point of contact. Feel where your buttocks make contact with your chair or the ground beneath you. And all the while, natural, easeful breath is moving through the body. As you receive an in-breath and as you release an out-breath. Move your awareness from the belly. You simply feel the belly area, the lower abdomen, the navel center. Moving that awareness up to the center of the chest. Feel the right side of your chest. Feel the left side of your chest. The center of your chest. And from the center of your chest, feel the skin of your neck. Feel the front sides and back of your neck. and inside your neck to your throat. Feel your lower jaw, your lower teeth, the roots of your lower teeth. How your tongue simply rests in your mouth. Maybe it's resting towards the bottom. Maybe it's touching the upper palate. Just let it rest there wherever it is. Now to your upper jaw. Upper teeth. Onto your face, feel your right cheekbone. Your left cheekbone. Tip of your nose. Now moving your awareness to your right eyelid. Where your upper and lower eyelid meet. Your left eyelid where the upper and lower eyelid meet. And feel behind your closed eyelids, your eyes are resting effortless, like two points of light, effortless resting points of light, resting eyes. Perhaps as if they're cleaning your vision, 
in this resting state. Where it is now moving to the, your forehead, to the area of your right brow, your left brow, between your brows, your full forehead, From the forehead, your scalp, the roots of your hair, your hair, and all the while, the breath is breathing you. You're not taking the breath, you're receiving the in-breath and releasing the out breath, aware, observing. You're resting in this state of deep observation, safe and supported. Resting and aware. Resting and awake. Whether you're seated or lying down, you might feel a force on the body, perhaps even feeling some gravity, a little bit like a weighted blanket, gently pressing on you safely so that you feel that natural heaviness of your body relaxed into and surrendering to gravity, not pushing against gravity, just being with it. And at the same time, you might also feel a kind of lightness, a kind of quality of lightness in your body. Just let that be. Being with your body and your direct somatic experience as it is. My voice will go quiet for about one minute. I'll be right here so that you can just simply rest in this experience. And I'll be right back. My voice will be right back. If at any point you feel you want or need some comfort, you can place one hand over your heart, as I mentioned earlier, and one hand on your belly. Kind of gently having your hands there and at the same time feeling that natural pulsation of breath, how your body rises and rounds, if you will, with an inhale and then sinks a little bit with the exhale. 
without evaluating and judging, just allowing. Good. Now, feel where your right ear attaches to your head and your left ear. And just open you're hearing to allow any ambient sounds to come to you. Just observing. I'll be quiet. You'll hear my voice again in 30 seconds to a minute. Now, feel wherever your skin is exposed to the air, simply feel the air in the room on your skin. So that contact between your skin and air. And all the while, the breath keeps breathing you. Receiving in-breath, releasing out-breath. Now direct your awareness back to your right hand. Feel wherever it's resting on your lap, on the floor. And actually, Start to move your fingers and stretch them a little bit. Savor that, like as if you never really paid attention to simply stretching your fingers. And do the same on the left side. And now move your awareness to your toes and stretch and move your right toes. And stretch and move your left toes. And whether you're seated or lying down, start to allow yourself a luxurious stretch. As if you have all the time in the world to simply experience stretching your body. Savor it. Good, and add those of you that are lying down, if you're at home and you're stretching, you may wanna just roll onto your side for a moment and then very slowly with no rush, Bring yourself to a seated upright position. Maybe not even, don't open your eyes yet, if you're okay with that. Those of you live at the conference, you may want to just slowly sit upright and remove your feet from the chair in front of you, unless you really want to keep them up. And perhaps we can very, very, very slowly begin to open our eyes. As you open your eyes, 
let them land on. You don't look at a screen yet if you're at home or if you're in the room, just kind of let them land on a nondescript spot for a moment. There's a reason, a perceptual orienting reason for that. And then you can begin to lift your eyes to your natural gaze. And we can all meet up on the screen and perhaps someone um, there live at the conference can slowly turn the lights back on. So there's always an urge to immediately start to, to talk. So we're gonna, and we're gonna have time. We're gonna do that, we have plenty of time. But I just want to encourage each of you attending today that piece we did at the beginning where I invited you to set a heartfelt intention for yourself. Um, if, if, you, if something did come, and again, don't worry if nothing did, but if something did come, if you have something to write with, you may want to write it down or you may want to just quietly repeat it to yourself because that is something, as I said earlier, you can utilize in your everyday life and repeat it. And well, we can talk about why later, but I want to just give you a moment for that and a moment to just let this experience be what it was for you, no right and wrong. I don't know if you can hear this. And now we can open up our time together for conversation, Q and A, talk about different tools. Does anybody want to say anything that's here? I can just say I was really relaxed. And after after a three days here, we and getting so much information and feeling kind of overloaded. It's been nice. This was really a nice way to end it. <laughs> anybody else want me to gravitate to them or not? <laughs> Hang on. Hold that thought. <laughs> Here you go. I was just going to say, I'm so embarrassed. I was so relaxed. I fell asleep. <laughs> You're not the only one. You're not the only one. I'd like to say something <laughs> about that. Um, that. I'm sorry. Did you want to say more? Um, no. Okay. I want to say that that happens. It happens all the time. I do these programs in <laughs> planetariums, campuses, schools. People fall asleep sometimes. And my response to you is, that's what your body and your nervous system needed. So just let that go. Like, that's fine. The more you practice these kinds of yoga nidra, what the scientists would call non-sleep deep rest practices, the more you tend to stay in the state that like, hovers between sleep and wakefulness, but is deeply relaxed. But if you fall asleep, it's what your body needed. It's just fine. You still got something out of it. We've, we've been to restorative yoga, my husband and myself. My husband's hanging out here. And yeah, people are falling asleep. It's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's good. <laughs> Do, are there any virtual participants that like to um, say anything? I don't know. Can they come up? Can there? Well, right now that says, oh, you can come up. You can unmute. I don't see. I don't see anybody. But do you? Or you can put something in the chat. Or you could put something in the chat if you yeah, like. Yeah, like it. because this is an opportunity. If it, right. you know, if you'd like for us to talk about different behavioral tools that we can all use as humans and thyroid cancer survivors. 
because boy, do we need a big toolkit. <laughs> Is there anything on the chat? Everyone's probably asleep. <laughs> In a People good at home, were you there? Oh, I know Renee King. Hi, Renee King. It's Abby. <laughs> yeah. Is Are anyone any... having mic issues? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Okay. A, a question is, how do we practice this at home? You know, because you're guiding us, you know, by talking. And um, is there anything that we should follow? I know mentally, but I'll probably be racing it through uh, those motions. Okay. Um, I'm glad you asked that. Yes. Yes and yes and yes. So um, I'll start by saying I have a whole bunch of recordings that I have made that are guided practices of varying lengths. Now, because you were all near and dear to me, because I'm a thyroid cancer survivor, mm -hmm. I made up one this morning that's 14 minutes. It's cool. on my podcast. There's many on my podcast. There's interviews, there's conversations, but there's also tools and practices because this is my passion and my work. So um, if you go to uh, the Sparks in Action podcast, it's on Spotify, it's on Apple, it's many, many places, sparks in action. In fact, I, um, it's got a little green thumbnail. You can scroll and you will find maybe six or seven guided practices that I have created. And the one this morning is for all of you. It's for anybody and everybody, but it was with you all Don, in mind. Donna, so is you said it was sparks in action or sparks and action? In sparks in action the sparks being all of us and the light we hold and the actions being all the good work people are doing in the world so i interview a lot of people who are under the radar ordinary folks doing really cool stuff um but i also make it um about my therapeutic work and offer you tools and practices Okay, so you will find several. So that I hope that answers your question. I'm not the only source of this. Of course, there's other people who do it. So mine is not mine or not the only ones you ought to listen to. You listen to whatever works for you, but there is no cost. It is free and it is there for you. And you are all welcome. I just want to say this to contact me at any time. I can give you my email. Um, That'd be great. Yeah, well, you can go through my website, which is Donna L. Sherman. You have to put the L in there, dot com. When you get to the website, when you go to more in the top, in the menu bar, there's a contact button. However, I'm going to give you all also my email address, because if you need resources, cool. I'm su super happy to do that. And that's really simple. It's Donna. No, actually, I've got a better one. Just do Sparks in action podcast at gmail.com even better for just email sparks in action podcast at gmail.com so did everybody get that if people didn't get that i can share it later but cool and where are you right now donna um, right now, York? right now I'm in New Paltz, New York, uh, oh, okay. where I live. And okay. uh, yeah, I'm cool. sitting in a room. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so so um, are there any other questions or concerns? And because I'd like to just say one or two things before we close. Um, I just, did you notice that I didn't, say, relax your hand, relax your leg, right? I didn't yeah. use that because as soon as you do that, our minds come in with their, they appropriate the experience and they say, oh, she's telling me I should relax. So I keep that word out. It's not about that. What we did here is we directed somatic experience to places in the body, which paradoxically softens them. 
I also noticed you didn't say breathe in, you know, for four counts and breathe out for seven. And then someone like me, I was like, oh, wait, did I count three or did <laughs> I count four? Because that's just me. And there's nothing wrong with those techniques. Those techniques no, I know. That were for helpful, but not in this context. Yeah. Thank you. Any other questions? Well, if there are no questions, I suppose, you know, from online, then I guess we can just say thank you very much, Donna. So everyone give a hand My clap pleasure. to Donna. <laughs> yeah. And My I guess pleasure. everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. And we're going to be going to wrap up the conference. So thank you, Donna. Thank you for My pleasure. doing this. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye, Bye everybody.